made so much mess so there, it was a really bad idea. Good morning, good evening, good time of day, wherever you are. So, currently just outside in my garden with Callum, and we're just enjoying breakfast. Well, we haven't started yet, but we're just about to eat breakfast. It's currently 8.57, so it's fairly early still. It's not too cold, which is why we're actually outside. Um, my head still bruised. I don't know if you can see that. It really hurts even more because I've just like had to wash my face and stuff and pain. But yeah, um, hopefully it should be a good day. We're going down to Bournemouth. We've got like the car packed and everything with everything we could possibly need. And hopefully it'll be great and it won't rain and it'll be sunny and we'll have fun. But who knows? It's brilliant. We, 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 we never know what will happen with the weather at all. All right, so we're just popping into the car up now just to get some food for the journey because it's like a three hour journey. And also because we don't want to stop at a service station and end up buying a load of unnecessary, expensive and overpriced food. Alright, so we've just got a quick pit stop to go and eat in McDonald's. Callum has chosen the darkest area to sit in McDonald's at all. Uh, <laughs> right in the corner, away from all humanity as well. I've just got like a, a milkshake and chips and a burger and, and stuff. Alright, so we have arrived. It's just gone 1 o'clock, so we're a bit later than planned, given we wanted to get here for about 12. It's only about an hour. Because when we stopped as well, I don't think that's too bad going. Here's the whole boot packed away. Pretty nicely, I would say. I'm a pretty good packer in that sense. Um, that move. Um, but yeah, we're just now going to unpack what we need and go down to the beach and just set up for a, until 10 o'clock probably, which is really long, but there we are. So we just unloaded the car of what we need for now. We've got to come back here later, so we need to remember how we get from here to the beach and then back and stuff. But we're now, let's say, going to head down to the beach and have a day-ish, half a day, at Bournemouth, I mean, like I said, it's really far to come actually, it's like three hours away from my house. That's a dream. Man. Which is ridiculous given there are probably beaches a lot nearer to me. But we wanted Bournemouth, specifically Bournemouth, because, you know, I've been here last month so I know that you can have a barbecue on the seafront after six. If that's changed then we're screwed. But hopefully it hasn't, and if it has we'll go somewhere else and just do something else somewhere. Well, Somehow. We will barbecue in a car park. We will have a barbecue today, it won't be in a car park. Well, May end up being in a random field. But it won't be in a car park because that would look really, really dodgy. But got sun we're really prepared. We've got sun cream today. Okay, yeah, I have sun cream. If you don't know what I'm on about, um, made a video where I kind of look like a tomato Super after the last classy, time. Yeah. Although, saying that, it's not very sunny, but, you know, the UV levels or whatever, I don't know, it's not a science lesson, get through and stuff, so we'll see what Jane happens. Does science. New channel coming soon. Yeah, the Jaden Mayhew Sciences. All right, so we're now down the pier. Uh, we just walked, well, we're not on the pier, we're at the beach, and now we're just walking down towards the pier area, similar to where I was last time actually. And then we're going to set up somewhere with our chairs and stuff, and then spend the rest of the day here at, for eternity, really. It's wow. really windy today, and also quite sunny, and I can't see properly. Get it? I can't see properly. Coming back with those sea jokes again. So we were just walking down the beach, and we saw the RNLI stand, which, if you don't know, it's like this charity run organization that Basically, they're just lifeguards and they obviously help people at sea and stuff. Um, and they save a ton of lives. It's like 22 a day or something crazy. Um, but we just wanted a frisbee and we thought you could buy them, which we've got one now. It turns out you can't buy them, you had to sign up and then it's like a little thank you gift, which is a great idea. And I was like, oh, can I sign up now then? Uh, sign up by like donating every month. And I did like three pound a month because, you know, it's good to donate to charity and stuff. And I wanted a frisbee. I'm not going to go and cancel it like as soon as I get home or something. I don't mind. Like three pound to me is not going to be life changing. To someone in the water will be. So you know, nice little lesson there. Just do what you can for charity, I guess. Alright, 
Alright, so a bit of an update on what's happened there. I don't even know if you guys can hear me. It's incredibly windy face. We gave up at the top because it was just going absolutely everywhere. It was not staying still. My camera's getting sand in now. So I hope this is okay. I hope if you're seeing this, then I, I've deemed it to be decent enough for YouTube. Probably going to get a new camera at some point. And uh, Callum's now going to try and buy a windbreaker because, yeah, he's got one because it's just, it, we need something because it's so windy, but oh my god, the top is just not working and my camera's half destroyed now. I really don't know how much longer this camera's gonna last. I've got sand in my eyes. We've got a windbreaker, which I'll try and show you guys. I don't even know if you guys can see it. Yeah, you can. It's so windy. Like, last time we were at Bournemouth, it was not this windy, but we're gonna head into the water now, which is just behind me, and hopefully not screw that up. Hopefully our stuff stays. Got a lot of stuff on these chairs and they're taking the chairs in theory they shouldn't go anywhere in theory and I, I don't know if you guys can hear me and i don't know if we send the last clip but i do need to get a new camera at some point because this one has so much sand in it and i've dropped it several times as well that uh it's not good and i, I don't even know if you can see me like on my screen i'm really dark but i have no idea so if you're watching this if you're watching this video then i assume you're it's all okay still on my head uh sand just got thrown into our shoes like to no end as well and uh yeah now we're gonna go in the water hopefully all right so we're currently just trying to get changed on the beach which is just the most awkward thing as you can see there <laughs> and they don't fit apparently for Callum. i've got some nice ones that i've never worn before which is great so i have no idea if mine fit or not if they don't then i'm screwed basically thanks for the towel i'm gonna get changed now so uh can you stop watching now so we just come out of the water I don't know, I feel really drunk. I feel really lightheaded and stuff and half drunk. Salt. Uh, but the salt water in there... <laughs> ...is disgusting. But I think I'm going to head back in now again for no reason. The waves are so big, like incredibly big. They're brutal. Like they've swept, one of them swept me under, I'm not even kidding. So we're going to head back in now and uh, see see what happens when uh, I take my camera in there, which is never going to be a good idea, but who knows? This is insane. You're insane. This is important. I can't go any further. It's Callum's turn. Uh, I, I, I'm still going in the background there. Um, I don't know what he's doing now, but uh, yeah, let's uh, get Callum in recording me, which is never going to work at all. Let's try and get him back. I don't even know if he's going to hear me. Um, I tried to get him back. I don't know. I have no idea if he knows. I don't even know where he is. On Now heading back out the water. I'm, I really don't know what we're going to do because this, to this day it's just gone completely wrong. So I don't know if we're just going to head back somewhere now or whatever. But firstly, I think we're going to get dry because I get the ugh, spit coming out of my mouth and get the uh, salt water out of our eyes and mouths because it's really, really unpleasant. Callan's found a stone which is now probably his new best friend for life. Like. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if this is just his life now. It's just just him and Mr. Stone. I don't know what he's actually doing, but I assume he has found some sort of stone or fish or something that, maybe it's Nemo. Maybe he's found Dory. Well, yeah, that, uh, yeah, that went really well. <laughs> 
Yeah. Alright, so what we've managed to salvage from this, this trip down to town so far is ice cream. So I've gone for honeycomb swirl with uh, white chocolate and brownie and he did the same with a flake. Trying to play frisbee in the wind just does not work. So we've been trying now for the last like minute or so. Um, basically, if you throw the frisbee, it just doesn't work at all. Right, here's my presenter, Callan Tompkins. To show you, go for it. You're gonna have to go and get it though. No, go, go aim that way. Yeah, it doesn't really work. So we got this because we donated the iron and lime. Um, by a direct debit donation thing and then it just doesn't work like I say I don't know if it's because it's too windy or something but I have way completely packed up now we're gonna head to the toilets get changed go to the car head to a place called Jurassic Coast which should be fun I hate public toilets so much but we've just come in here just to um, get changed and stuff there's probably so many people out there I don't want to talk really loudly because they're probably all waiting wondering what on earth I'm doing in here I really think I'm stinking the place out and stuff, which is great, but uh, yeah, getting getting changed now, seriously. It's just bad, it's just really bad, worse than me and Callum, I don't know why, but it just does. All right, so I've ditched Callum now, and I'm going to get the car. I haven't really ditched him, I'm just going to get the car because we have so much stuff, it just made more sense just to walk with like nothing but the keys and my phone and my camera. Just go and get the car, bring it down into this car park, and then just drive out to the Jurassic Coast area because Honestly, I'm tired out from just walking up this hill. I cannot imagine what it would be like if I had to like carry everything up the hill as well. So my car will do it for me. All right, I've located the car. I'm just gonna hop in and uh, well, drive back down to Callum because he's probably like thinking I've deserted him, which I haven't actually, which it would be quite funny, like just leaving, <laughs> just leaving him behind. But, um, I'm not, I'm not actually that evil. Uh, so yeah, um, so far not so good really. Not how the saying goes, but just how the day's gone, I guess. Hopefully it'll improve somehow, even though it's just five o'clock now, so we'll see. All right, so we just popped over to Tesco because we're gonna get some food for the barbecue, which hopefully we're gonna do. Who knows, we'll buy the food and then it'll probably all go wrong. Uh, I'm gonna try and sort my hair out. I've left my sunglasses in the toilets on the bin in Bournemouth. So if you do go to Bournemouth and you find them, please post them to the address, which is Blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to actually tell you that, of course. Um, but yeah, so we're just going to see if we can actually find any food now. Have a good selection of stuff. Um, some Pringles, some burgers, some sausages, and some Coke. Now I guess we've got to go do that horrible thing, which is called paying. So we've just arrived at this place called... Jurassic Coast or or whatever and um, we've arrived at this place specifically called um, Durdle Door which I have seen photos of and it looks incredible so we're going to go and see what we can find with all our food. We need a bag, this is, yeah, we haven't thought this through properly at all. Or we'll still need to pay for the car park but you know that's just a minor detail. Um, right let's go pay for the car park and see what the damage is with the money. So we've just arrived nearish the area. We realise you can't really have barbecues down here but we're rule breakers. Um, wow it's blue and wow this looks incredible so I'm just going to quickly show you guys but just take a look at this.
we just arrived at the Dernal door. Let me just show you that this is beautiful as well. Two or three? Uh, it's four. I can't see. Get it? I can't. So yeah, that's the total door. It looks pretty amazing and I think I'm moving house now. I mean, I don't really know what's going on here. We've tried and this this has the potential to have not worked again. But I mean, the view's nice, so that's good, I suppose. You might want to grab that. Uh, we don't want to be littering as much as we can. And oh, dear God, the cavalry have arrived. They've arrived. We're screwed. They're everywhere. I don't really know if this is going to work or not. I mean, we've got some flames going. Well, knowing But us. I'm not sure. Oh. Barbecue update. Barbecue's not happening. We're only good with gas barbecues and coal ones. I wonder what that noise was then, but coal ones just, nope, it's just gone out. We don't know what we're doing. So I think we're just going to resort to cookies and um, brownies and Pringles. Wow, bread and some bread. So I've noticed walking around with a camera and talking to yourself gets you a lot of weird looks, but also taking a drone around, door, 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 sit, door something, also gets you a lot of weird looks. And there's some fossils up here. And wow, we just came here because we thought it might look good. And there's really nothing in here apart from- Oh, look at that, it's cold. Someone's been having a barbecue. That's a bit naughty. Or a bit more successful than that. Looks pretty good up here though. Even though I just said it didn't, but okay. I'm now a rock climber, so uh, if I die, then I'll I'll be all right. I'm all right. I didn't die. Come up here. I go all the way. No, I actually don't want to die. You won't die. You know what my luck has been like. You will not die. If you do, then that's really incredible. But you are now just making it a lot harder for yourself. Hey, you managed it! Um, oh my word. So, yeah, this doesn't feel safe. Immediately I regret every decision I've ever made. I'm down. Good luck. Finding your way down. If you slip now and you just crack your head open and then die. <laughs> I said if, not when. <laughs> well, yeah, um, there wasn't really anything down here and I don't really know what else we're going to do. I suppose we could explore the other side because um, there is some other stuff which could be quite good. Sun setting though and wow, from what I can see, wow, it, it does look pretty sweet. Oh yeah, the drone, I need that. <laughs> I just want to leave that there with my phone on as well. But yeah, I mean, this has definitely been the highlight of the day, which isn't very hard when you've seen the day we've had. But it's definitely the highlight of the day. Okay. So we've now moved location and we're here, which is, I don't know what this is called, but it has got a name, I think. Anyway, it's a really cool looking place. So we just thought we'd chill for a bit. We've got about an hour until the car park closes, but we're not necessarily going to wait an hour. But I know it just looks really, really cool. All right, so we've just flown the drone around, as you probably just saw in that footage. And now we're heading home-ish. Like we've, we've not moved from here yet, but we are going to head home in a minute. Um, we didn't go down there and then because we just cannot be bothered to take all our stuff down. But the sun is setting over there, I think. And uh, yeah, it's been a pretty good day now, now because of this. If we hadn't done this and we just went straight home, it would have been awful. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed so far and there may be a few more clips, who knows. So we've just made it back to the car. We, we're both about to just collapse, I think, because we're so tired after walking up. I think it's like a 45% degree gradient of, of um, the hill steepness or something, which is just brilliant because that's just stupidly steep. But uh, just trying to find my keys in this bag. If we've left them down on the beach, then we're never going home again because I wouldn't go back down. I can't do that up, but uh, found them. Gonna load up the car now with the rest of the stuff. And this time, we really are heading home. So apparently Callum has a lot of stones in his shoe. It feels like this. It feels like, oh my word. What have you done? <laughs> You've walked the whole way up like that. Yeah. Oh, all right. Ready? Yeah. You have problems. Oh yeah, got some sweet stickers as well. All right, so it's now currently 46 minutes past midnight. I've just driven for about three hours without absolutely stopping, like no stopping at all. So tired. Probably should have stopped, but thankfully we didn't crash or anything and we weren't, I wasn't veering off or anything too badly or I would have stopped, like genuinely. Had a lot of candy. Why did I say candy? 
Sweets. Oh, I'm so tired. Had a lot of sweets, so we're all right. I swear I started seeing things, though. I'm not kidding. As I was driving, I swear on my life, I just started seeing Pokemon. Like, it's the weirdest thing. I'm not kidding. And then, then I turned the sat-nav off, and I could, I could swear I was just hearing, like... In like 500 jars, bare right. I'm like, what? We don't even go right up here. This wouldn't make any sense. I'm, because I'm so tired. I think my brain's just trying to make things happen and stuff. But uh, really, really, really hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you have, smash that like button, subscribe. If you're new around here, check out my main channel as well, which is youtubecom slash the Jaden Mayhew. Um, and comment down below and just let me know. You know, what's your favourite part about the vlog today? Personally, the Dorset door and everything for me, it was just incredible. The view was amazing. And again, really hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you again tomorrow.